First, let's review some of the PHP basics. PHP code is entered between open and closing tags, much like HTML. This way the server can differentiate between PHP and HTML in a document it is processing. An opening tag of less than question mark PHP and a closing tag of question mark greater than act as delimiters for PHP and designate a block of code in the same way that curly braces designate blocks of code in Java and C++. PHP functions and structures are not case sensitive as they are in C++ and Java. However, PHP variables are case sensitive. I suppose we should start with how to get some basic output from PHP. And for this we have the echo function. The echo function outputs text to a document. For example, if I were to call echo and within the parentheses go the argument, which is a string literal, so enclosed in double quotes, in this case, hello world, that would display hello world in the web page that was being received on the client. In addition to echo, there's also print, which prints a string to the HTML document, printf, which prints a formatted string to the HTML document, and sprintf, which returns a formatted string without printing to the HTML document. Both printf and sprintf require formatting arguments, and there are 10 basic forms where a percent symbol or modulus operator goes before each one. In this case, d is for decimal, b for binary, o for octal, a lowercase x would be hexadecimal with lowercase letters, an uppercase x, hexadecimal with uppercase letters, c for a character whose ASCII code is the integer value of the argument, f for double, e for double using exponents, s for string, and the percent sign to indicate a literal percent sign since just one percent sign would be prefixing the argument. For example, let's look at the following bit of code. In this case, the first call to the printf function just displays some simple HTML line breaks and dashes as a string literal within the parentheses as the argument. The second call to printf also does the same, but this time it's using a formatting argument, the percent symbol in s to indicate a string, and then after the comma, the variable name, which will be link. So ultimately, the client will receive a web page that says, welcome to the game, link. If you look at the third call to printf, it also includes an HTML line break, and it says we are giving it 100, and then there are two percent symbols, and the reason is, is for a literal percent symbol, we have to use two, because just one percent symbol indicates a formatting argument within the printf function. You see? In addition to formatting arguments in PHP, there are also padding arguments. A single quote marks a padding argument with printf and sprintf, and these precede the formatting arguments. For example, take a look at the following line of code. Printf, and then if you'll look at the arguments in parentheses. We have the percent symbols to indicate formatting arguments, but you'll also see colored red a single quote mark, and that single quote mark indicates a padding argument. And in this example, the padding argument is the asterisk. We're going to use the asterisk there. So, in other words, in the example above, each variable is preceded by the percent symbol to indicate a formatting argument. The first variable, in this case name, will be padded with an asterisk and have a minimum width of 100 and a maximum width of 100 characters, and it will be aligned to the left since the dash is on the left as opposed to the right, and uses the format argument type of s for the string data type. The second variable, phone, will be also padded with asterisks and have a maximum width of three characters, and it uses the format argument type of f for the double data type. The third variable, the string literal br, or an HTML line break, will simply be printed as it is. These arguments can also be used to format numbers. Take a look at the following bit of code. We have two variables, x and y, and we're calling the printf function once again. In the call to the printf function, there are three parameters passed in as arguments. The first is string literal, and then of course, the two variables, x and y. We'll look at the string literal portion of the argument. In this case, there are two formatting arguments enclosed within the double quotes. The first formatting argument after the first percent symbol is for d, which means display four characters in decimal to the left of the decimal point. So even though x is a large number, in this case it would only display 7777, 4 to the left of the decimal. Now look at the second formatting argument, indicated by the second percent symbol. There's a dot and a 3 and an f. And in this case the dot means to the right of the decimal, display three digits of the number. And then of course the f means it's a double. So once again, to sum this up, in the example above the first variable x will be displayed with a maximum of four characters. The second variable will be displayed with three digits after the decimal place. So 
x would be displayed as 7777, and y would be displayed as 444.000, three places to the right of the decimal. While we're discussing the topic of how to display things in PHP, we should mention the number format method. It's a function for formatting numbers, as its name suggests, and it takes up to four arguments and returns a string. The first argument is the number that you're wanting to convert. The next is the precision. The third argument is the decimal point character, and the fourth argument is the thousands separator. So these can be changed. Now, if you look at the following bit of code, we have two variables, pi and national deficit. Now, look at the very first call to the echo function. We're calling number format, and we're simply passing in the very first parameter, which is the number. So it's just going to use the system defaults, whatever they might be. On my system, it's going to use commas for anything to the left of the decimal, and then a period for the decimal point, and anything to the right. Now, the second call to the echo function, in this case, uses number format, but it also takes an additional argument. In addition to the variable national deficit, it also takes a second argument, which is the amount of precision. And so if you look at the display at the bottom, in this case, it's 15,719,978,774,559.444. And that precision amount is basically the, in this case, you know, displaying the uh, three digits to the right of the decimal. Now, look at the last call to the echo function. Again, we're using the number format method. And again, we pass in the variable national deficit. And again, we have the second argument as being three, indicating that you know, we should display it with an accuracy of up to three places past or to the right of the decimal. But there are two additional arguments. So if you look at the third argument, it's just a space within double quotes. And that represents the decimal point character. Okay, so the decimal point character, which is normally a period on my system, would now simply be displayed as a space. Instead of the dot 44, you see it's just space. 444. Okay, and look at the last argument, the fourth one. That's the thousands separator. Now, the default on my system is a comma, but some locations use, uh, you know, a period for that. And so you can change that with the number format method. In this case, that's what we're doing. So instead of a comma, it's using a period to separate the different place values to the left of the decimal. For these examples, I'm going to be using NetBean 712 because it's a free download. And you can see I've written some PHP example scripts to go with uh, you know, different parts of the tutorial. Um, now, I'm using NetBeans because it's a free download. There are more sophisticated tools with lots more bells and whistles, like Dreamweaver. And there's also more simplistic tools, like just a simple text editor, like you know, Gedit or Notepad. Uh, but you know, NetBeans is a, a, a pretty good intermediate PHP programming tool does a pretty good job of interpreting the syntax, and I like the color coding, things like that. So use a tool of your choice. Now, this particular tool, um, I've also written a batch file, and this batch file is just going to copy everything that I have here in my development partition over to my C partition, where the inet pub folder is, www.root.php1, which in this case I'm using with Internet Information Services. So I just run that to copy things whenever I modify my PHP scripts. Again, purely optional, and there's a thousand different ways to do that. But that lets you uh, sort of have an idea of my environment or my basic setup. So in this example, I'm running Windows 7, I'm using NetBeans, and I'm just using a batch file to take care of simple file processes. So let's take a look at our first PHP program. In this case, we're using the echo function. And in this statement of code, you can see that in between the open and closing parentheses, here and here, there are two double quotes, and within those double quotes is a string literal. That's what we want to display. So this PHP code here between the opening, uh, opening PHP tag and the closing PHP tag, um, this code here would be processed on the server and this here would be sent to the client. So that would actually become part of the web page uh, that the client views, okay? So none of this is going to show up on the client, the PHP tags or echo or anything. Um, but in this case, what is you know being written with the echo statement will show up on the client. That's one of the things that makes PHP and ASP uh, effective server-side scripting languages because you can keep important information, data, uh, passwords, you know things that you don't want to make public or allow someone to view in HTML source when it's sent to the client. 
you can keep all of that on the server. It never gets sent to the client. So you won't even see that code. You'll only see the HTML that's being sent with the echo function. And just to show you that printf performs a similar function to echo, I'm doing the same thing down here. All right, so you see the, the PHP code. This is what's running on the web server, server itself. So let's see what happens when we run it. We're going to test it. And we'll open it up in Internet Explorer web browser. All right, so see, none of the PHP code shows up, but you can see the HTML, hello world, and using the printf method. And again, if I were to right click and select a view source, if you look at the HTML source, that's all you see. You don't see the PHP code. So this is on the client, and let me close the web browser, and this is on the server.